Michigan State. They are going to do their three pillars. Defend, rebound, run. See how they get off to a good start with Malik Hall inside the paint. Walker's got around the curl. Between two, he makes it a chance for one more. A battle down in the post. Garcia and Hall. Well, the Joseph had stripped away. Tyson Walker trying to create contact. Leaves it up for Hogard. I'm going to say that was a pass. <laughs> I mean, you talk about one of the top five backcourts in the country. You have a great feel for one another, and you saw it on that possession. Well, he knew what he was doing, Tyson Walker. Get inside to pain on the other end. The single side ball screen is available because of how hard Michigan State hedges on pick and rolls. Pharrell Payne making just his fifth start of the season. Trying to get him going early. Malik Hall got the roll. Five possessions for Minnesota, three turnovers for their offense. Christie for three, got it. This is the place, this is the pace that the Spartans have to play at consistently tonight. Malik Hall up and under for two. What a move to get free. Deep breath goes to the left short. Missing Rob Cooper. Tomahawk jam. That ball on the paint. Carson Cooper again with a dunk. That baseline's been open for Michigan State. Deep three this time, and an answer from Mike Mitchell. And Christie. Akins hits the jumper. Akins on the scoreboard. Little inside screen on that lower block area. You uh, see a cut off, good double by Akins. Yeah, that responsibility right now will go to Mike Mitchell. Dawson Garcia buries the three, four point game. Pushed out of the way of Keenan. Cooper got away with one. Holloman for three. And the Minnesota native knocks down a triple. The dribble penetration to the middle of the floor by Jaden Aiken sucked in the weak side guard, allowing him to make that pass over to Holloman, and he knocks it down. 41%. And a good drive and one. Hogard, left hand, soft in the finish. Cam Christie on the bench with two fouls for Minnesota. Mitchell running the point. Mitchell pops for three, got another one. Size 19 shoot. It's amazing that he's as athletic and as mobile as he is. A couple of ACL injuries for Enan has stunted his career. Hogard goes right at him and finishes. That's how Michigan State has to continue to play. Sissoko back on the floor for Spartans. Inside, Sissoko's got it. High percentage for Monty. Excellent rebounder, both defensively and offensively. Yes. Whatever he gives you, points-wise, a bonus. Walker driving in the lane for another layup. Josh Holden Joseph is on the, the floor for Minnesota. I mean, those guys can jump. Cam Christie on the floor with two fouls with the layup. Mitchell's jumper, good. What a pure stroke from Mike Mitchell. Christie on the floor with those three fouls. Lee Hall passed up the three. Hogard spinning, floater, good. Yeah, that was a heat check right there. Inside and intercepted by Christie. Three on one for the Gophers. Garcia rejected by Cohen Carr. Always had such a tremendous amount of respect for Jimmy. That dude could just flat out score the basketball. An excellent passer. Kept me well fed at times when we played in Atlanta together. And Minnesota in a little bit of foul trouble. Terrell Payne's got three. Cam Christie has three. Dawson Garcia inside for two. Probably the reason for the eight turnovers in the first half. And folks, I know that says number one in the Big Ten, but he's the <laughs> number one in the country with eight assists a game. And the rebound by Malik Hall. Agents driving. 
suggesting that the home court advantage is real? No, no, no. Maybe just a, a slick area. <laughs> Lost his footing. Carrington for three. Got it. Christie and Mike Mitchell. Mike Mitchell had a really good first half. Had eight points in the first half, knocked down a couple threes. And Maybe he picks up right where he left off. <laughs> 11 points for Mitchell in the game. He's 19 years old and a sophomore for paid So much room to grow. Mitchell right down the gut. And a good pass into Ola Joseph. Into the corner. Three from Malik Hall. Rattles in and a foul. And a little too aggressive there. Got to tell the big fella this basketball, that football. Yeah, we're not on the gridiron, that's for sure. And then a bucket for Aiken, so it turns into a five point play for Michigan State. They're right back out in front. Wilson's got it all by himself. Wilson, and a nice hook down. Shot. Wilson, yeah. and good. Two point lead for Michigan State. Christie on the move. Back out front, go the Gophers. Hall trying to go baseline. And he gets two, no whistle. Four fouls, and not even at the first media timeout of the second half. There's Hall bringing the thunder. Just over 14 points and five rebounds a game. He's over that right now. Mitchell, his jumper, good. Second guy always gets caught, right? That's what my mom told me when I was younger. <laughs> right. Never be the second guy. <laughs> Carrington mm. hits the jumper. Back to a tie game. <laughs> Hahnemann trying to drive. Good defense by Mitchell. Hahnemann hangs and hits. Spinning. Hahnemann. Payne missed the shot. Garcia now driving in. No. And he fouls for two. He's got such a quick second leap. Aikens drives right hand and one. That's five now on Christie. Hogard has the mismatch, number 11 in white. He can get to the rack. Walker going right at Payne and got the roll. It's a big game for Michigan State. And a, a close game, a rare one for the Spartans, too. All of their wins have been by a dozen or more points. As Walker, the hero, steps his way through. But it was the second half play of Tyson Walker under 10 minutes that really started to create a little separation for Michigan State offensively. 76-66, your final Michigan State win number three in conference play.